Hello. Are you here for someone as caught? That I am. Don't expect to be as lucky here as you were in Crossed Wands. Speaking of which, care to lose... I mean, play a match? Of course, Charlotte. Then may the best summoner win. as planned. too proud to admit when I've lost. Where did you learn to play like that? I practice as much as I can. Practice, eh? I suppose I could try that. Well, you've only one opponent left now. I won't say more than that, but let's just say he's the best for a reason. Are you ready to put an end to Halo? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. 
Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Looking for today. Mrs. Rape should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rape, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles, and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickles are the two friends.
Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Yeah, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I've nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere.
Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I wish I paid more attention when I was at home. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. He must be around here somewhere. Oh, 
Gatti's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Ravelio! Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Rebellion. That he must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. The footprints led to this room. There must be. The hidden door. Revelio. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Mine. <laughs> that all you got. 
Rebellion. 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 That he must be here somewhere. Mr. Rape, Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. I'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not able to summon my wand. It must be blocked by something. Revelio! Mr. Rape's wand could be in there. Revelio. Alohomora. If Natty couldn't summon Mr. Rape's wand from her cell, it must be blocked by something. Mr. Rape's wand! I'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken.
Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Rebellion. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you too. Is Mr. Rabel right? He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Ah. Uh. I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon.
Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon, after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Rebellion. Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organized, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavors. Penny will meet you there. Revelio. Well, I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. Well then, let's get to it. Penny is ready. Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Reparo. Oh, Penny can already see the potential. This will surely be the most successful shop in the world. 
Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh, yes. She mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. <sighs> Are you holding your breath again? <sighs> Penny must get back to work now. You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Reb and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow.
Sorry about the long gap there, guys. The door went. Mid-conversation. <laughs> I know I don't usually comment. I thought I'd just explain what happened. Anyway, back to it. Rebellion. Send you. That's odd. Why would someone store one hat in here? Revelio. That's not very hospitable. Oh goody! Someone to play with! I sense you're not ruffled by hard work. So determined to guess it will be wonderfully fun! Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. That's new. Onwards, I suppose. What in the... Who's there? Incendio. Lumos. Guardian Leviosa. 
Lumos. Hmm. Seems as if I should hang something there. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Revelio. These lanterns must belong somewhere. Accio. Revelio. Perhaps the lanterns are meant to be hung on the hands. Lumos. How enlightening! Hmm, you might survive a bit longer than the other. Rebellion. Lumos. Oh, you've come so far, so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been looking for. I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it, if you make it out, that is. Please try. If you get to the end, perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I do want your shop to succeed, after all. What's the saying? Two sides to every storm. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, both sides here are to my story. And you'll have to complete both to get to the end. Luke. Ah, you've chosen the scholarly route. You'll need more than you've learned from books to best me. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Hmm. Running in circles, are we? Perhaps you should retrace your steps.
Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Accio. Lumos.